Mushy Mushy Peeps, it's Chris Falana, and today I'm, I'm, I'm back. I feel like a part of me is back because you guys see the title. I have a story time. The only difference is I'm gonna tell this story and then I'm gonna, sh I actually like have proof behind my story. Like I'm actually gonna try to like capture vlog clips and then give a story because I feel like it'll make even those clips that I, you know, have come to life a little more and it'll just be a little more entertaining. Today's story is about how I met the GOAT, Russell Westbrook. This is probably the most awkward, funniest interaction I've had with a professional NBA player. It was bad, it was bad. So let's just get to the story. First things first. I'm flying out to Arizona for this private event. Nike invited me and one of the two hype members, Cassius, Cash Nasty, and we got to basically shoot a, a video with Paul George promoting his new shoe. You guys saw it. I actually have the shoe right here. Um, I'll do this. I'll show this off in a new vlog. They sent me a dope ass package, but that'll be in the video a little later. But anyways, this is all about Russell Westbrook, okay, and how the heck I met him. So me and Cash, we fly out early. This is all just super last minute. Like Nike hit me up one day, was like, yo, I know this is super last minute. Can you come to Arizona this time? And I was like, yeah, I mean, duh. I mean, <laughs> it's with freaking Paul George. Why the freak not? So they booked my flight, booked Cash's flight early morning. I'm talking like, dude, 6 a.m., bro. And it was, ugh. see, when you film with NBA players, they give you a time. It is kind of on the NBA player's schedule. Um, so they were like, it's going to start either between 1.30 to 4.30. And we wanted to get there early to kind of brief, get to know what the heck we're doing and meet the Nike people. It was crazy. So we get there at 9 a.m. 9 o'clock in the morning. That's pretty early. And they invite us to the hotel. Keep in mind, we don't know what to expect. We just know, filming with Paul George, we're gonna see his new shoes. We have no idea what they look like. And we have no idea who else we could meet. And I didn't really think like, oh, it's in Arizona, so obviously it's gonna be at the team's hotel because it's OKC. Like, why would we be filming in Arizona? They were playing the Suns at the time. We're at the team's hotel. I noticed that very very quickly because as soon as we got out of the uber who do i see you can't miss him steven adam you guys know me i'm a big okc fan now i know you guys are like no you, you're team nba you like every nba team no okc is my number one team okay so me just seeing the actual team in person like up close i'm starting to freak out a little bit so we get into the lobby off the bat i'm seeing steven adams russell westbrook the whole squad just seeing russell westbrook i was like what is going on right now? Oh my god. So, fast forward a little bit. We have some meetings with Nike guys, PlayStation guys. Dude, it's just so crazy how everything's just coming together, man. I mean, guys, you think too hype is big now it's gonna be on a bigger scale we're trying to take it to the next level we're trying to take ourselves our personal brands to the next level and the fact that we're working with nike and playstation is just a blessing all right it's a dream come true so me and cash we're waiting for our shoot all right we had the meeting had lunch everything keep in mind this is all off one hour of sleep dude i did not sleep because i had to schedule my videos for the trip and i don't know i always leave stuff the last minute right before my flight so i didn't sleep i pulled it all night and plus with the excitement of filming with paul george i could not sleep you just can't sleep now the sleep is it's hitting me i'm starting to hit this wall i'm falling in and out of sleep but then who do i see again i see the team come back from practice they came back from practice a little early and me and cash just start freaking out and this is what happened oh my god holy shit dude oh my god Girl. Bro, I'm having I'm having a moment right now, dude. Guys, we're at the Thunders Hotel. I was not expecting this. Oh my god, I gotta get cash a battery. I gotta cap up the battery, yo. Oh my god. You got the China bat dude, you can't bring a China battery to it. Oh here. <laughs> Cash and his battery's dead. I'm looking out for my boy because I want him to vlog as well. So I'm, you know, I'm scratching around for a battery uh, so he can vlog. The, you know, Russell and Carmelo get in. We see them, and I'm, 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 I'm a pussy when it comes to this stuff. Like I just feel really awkward putting the camera in the face, and I didn't know what we could film. You know, so. I was just like trying to hide it and I was just getting my raw reaction and cash. I think he filmed when they first came in, but filmed right after, as you guys see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Dude, I found it. Cash is lit. I just had to destroy my fucking backpack, bro. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is wild, bro. 
Oh my fuck. God. What's up, guys? Holy shit, dude. Bro, they're right there. Oh my god. Did you get it? Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't good, but it's so Dude, I cringed too hard to put it on their face. I had to wait till they turned around. There's not too many people that get me like this, okay? It's just being a fan and watching him for all these years and getting to see him in person. I mean, this guy is the MVP. Most triple doubles ever. And I'm like, I can say what's up. Like, that's just a cool opportunity right there that I just need to nut up and just face, you know? Because if this was me, like, years ago, I would just be doing, like, what you guys just saw. Like, just vlog it. Not even vlog it. I would just see it and be like, oh, cool. I saw him. Like, I would just kind of be nervous, timid. But... This is what I do. I need to embrace it. I need to, you know, say what's up, man. Be a man. So I was like, okay, I'm really tired. I'm about to do a shoot with Paul George. I need to wake up. So what I was like, all right, I, I need to take a couple shots. That's going to wake me up. <laughs> so I went to the bar, dude. I kid you not. I went to the bar. I see Russell Westbrook just walking in the lobby again. He's like dressed. He looks like he's going to go like to the mall. Keep in mind, this is the day before their game. So he probably... They, the team probably goes in and out to like go to the mall or something, hang out with their fam. I don't know. Do what they got to do. But I was like, okay, if he's still out there and he was by himself, there's no one around. Obviously, there's. it's easy to just say what's up. I just have to like just stop being a fanboy and just go up there, say what's up, shake his hand, and that would make my day, all right? And so I was like, all right, I'm going to take these shots. And I'm gonna go out there if he's still out there and he's not like talking to someone or anything and it's not weird. So I took the shots, I had like Red Bull vodka, whatever. And I was I was feeling good. I was energized again. I was like, okay, here we go. As I'm walking, man, I'm just thinking to myself, okay, just say what's up, just say what's up, don't be awk, you know. I don't want any awkward encounters. And uh and it happened. As soon as I walk out, I had my off-white ones on, alright? The bellhopper dude was like Yo, what are you doing wearing those? And it completely threw me off. I lost focus. So then awk mode came into full effect. I look at the bellhopper dude. I look at my shoes. Russell Westbrook looks at my shoes. He looks at me. Now, you know Russell Westbrook, he kind of has this demeanor of not, like, he's not, he doesn't look very approachable, not very friendly. I'm shook as fuck now because he's looking at my shoes like, oh, okay, I see you kind of thing. And then I immediately just look up at him and I'm like, hey, Russ. Mind if I get a picture, bro? And then the bellhopper guy keeps saying stuff to me, but I'm so focused on Russell that I don't, I'm just c completely ignoring him. And Russell's kind of looking at me as if like, are you gonna like respond to him? And then he kind of just gives me, come on, bro. He said, he said, come on, bro. So I was like, all right, cool. Went over there, nervous as fuck, quickly got my, uh, Snapchat out, took the photo. Uh, I was shaking a little bit, cause it's, as you can see the picture right here, it's a little blurry, that's just for me, like, oh my god, this is happening. And then, guys, this is probably the awkwardest moment of my life. I'm in extreme awk mode right now. I don't, ha I have no words. I don't know what to say, but I just want to say thank you. I took the picture and I was like, I didn't want to just take the picture and dip. I wanted to like shake his hand and say thanks for your time, you know, thanks for taking the picture with me, whatever. I go to shake his hand and this guy, like Russell has a portable charger a big ass iPhone, the iPhone 8 Plus, um, some other things in his hand. Like he just has a handful and he's not carrying a bag, so he's just holding it. And I went to shake his hand, so I'm like, it was, you know, it was nice meeting you. And then he kind of just looks at my hand like, uh, like all this stuff in his hand. And so my awkward ass, dude, I kid you not, dude. I didn't give a fuck. I was like, I just want to get out of here, dude. I just feel so awkward. I was like, yo, Russ, thank you, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan. And I grab his arm. <laughs> I grab his arm and shake it, dude. I, fu I fuck you not. He, the next time he sees me, he's probably going to remember me as just some awkward, blanky motherfucker. But, dude, it happened. As soon as that happened, I was like, oh, my God. I just did that. I just did that. I got to go. I just, I just didn't even look at him. I didn't make any eye contact. I shook his arm and got the fuck out and went to cash and was like cash dude i just met russell westbrook and, and then the paul george thing happened and that was really cool yeah a lot happened dude once again shout out to nike for an unbelievable experience they just they just keep on one up and dude and it's like all-star weekend's coming up guys and i'm telling you this i think it's gonna be even the, even crazier like my experiences just keep going up dude 
my levels just keep going up and it's only before you know it guys i i don't want to jinx it but i i believe i personally believe i'm gonna film with lebron james one of these days so that's the dream i'm gonna keep grinding i think it's gonna happen i i believe it's gonna happen it's gonna happen one day um but yeah that that's amazing and russell that would be cool to do an actual sit down video with him but just meeting him was dope itself and uh yeah russell if you're watching this um so sorry hopefully you guys enjoyed the story time give it a thumbs up if you did let me know if you guys want more story times so i'm awk but hey how would you comment down below how you guys would react meeting Russell Westbrook, if he was outside of your hotel lobby, like, what would you do? Would you, do you think you would go say what's up, or do you think you would kind of be nervous and hella awkward and not do anything? You'd just kind of say, oh, I saw him, you know? PG vlog behind the scenes coming soon. I got a dope care package from Nike. And also, you know, I do a lot of Nike stuff, but I also did something with Under Armour, which was pretty cool. That vlog is coming soon. A lot of cool stuff, man. A lot of cool stuff. And I just want to thank you guys. Thank you guys. If you guys keep rocking with me, all a bunch of cool videos are just gonna keep dropping. So yeah, I talk too much. I know. I got. I'm gonna go now. Peace.